Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know the videos don't normally start out like this, but I figured I owed you all a little update about why this ice out video is coming to you so late. And things have just been kind of hectic with the guiding and trying to get out on canoe trips at the beginning of the year. But beyond that, Stephanie and I for quite a while now have been working on moving up north here to the Adirondacks and well, we finally made it happen. We've got this nice little place here in North Creek. Beautiful, almost like a camp on the inside. And we're all moved in at this point. I've got a room full of my camping, canoeing, fishing gear, and everything like that. Still getting this sorted out. A few nice little pieces hanging on the wall here. This awesome wood-burned map of Long Lake Stephanie made for me. Little deer antler rack there. And our room. Completely set up at this point. I've got the computer where I edit the videos and everything. Sound system. Everything's all set up there. Playing a little bit of Diablo 4 right now. <laughs> yeah, I got our board games. Got everything all set up here. In this beautiful, quaint, cozy little place. So, there's really not much more to it than that. I just figured you guys deserve to know why there was such a long stretch without a video there. It was just crazy trying to get everything moved, everything set up. But uh, we're here, and you should be seeing a lot more stuff coming from us soon. So, stay tuned and check out the rest of this video from Ice Out with Paul and John. Hey guys. Jay here from Daxwoods Wanderer, and as you can see, we finally have some open water. I can officially say it is ice out in the Adirondacks here. I'm back in my Winona, and I'm here on the big, beautiful Racket Lake right now with my buddy Paul, who, if you saw the last video, was his first introduction to the channel. We're going to be fishing today and tomorrow, hanging around here. We're going to camp in a lean-to on an island to look for some trout and I believe Tuesday John from the ADK Addicts is going to make his way out here meet up with us and we're going to start our first real canoe trip of 2023. Oh, the mattress is gone that I saw. Nice. Yeah, this will do nicely. Yeah. Wow. Man, it is good to be back out here. I could smell someone's campfire from the shore drifting over here. It's just unlocking all those all those feelings that you kind of forget about over the winter they get sort of dulled wow it's so good to be back out i needed this desperately we're getting a little bit of wood processed up right now wind's kind of picking up a little bit but we knew the next week probably didn't have the best weather but wasn't gonna stop us from getting out here. Slowly but surely getting set up here, getting everything together. I'm gonna start opening the green bag, pulling stuff out and get settled in. All right, it's about dinner time here. So I'm making up a classic that anyone who's watched this channel before knows. Kielbasa and pierogies here. They're a little frozen, so I'm letting both of them kind of simmer here, thaw out a little bit, and then we'll put some real heat on them, get it going here. Once again, I've probably got way too much food with me here, but I don't know. That's just not a science that I've quite gotten down yet. I'm always afraid to pack too little and 
end up with too much. Even when I make a food plan, I'm like, oh, let me, let me throw in the banana nut bread here. Let me throw in some raisins. Let me throw in some kielbasa. And, you know, you know how it goes. But, uh, yeah, we've got this in the works here now and should be ready soon. Yeah, so I'm just on the final steps with the kielbasa here, letting that skin crisp up next to the fire a little bit here. These I actually might have let sit a little too long, but they'll be fine. They were frozen when I started out, so I'd say I did pretty good. And there we you go. Do you get the uh, potato or do you get the cabbage? I usually go with the potato, but uh, she actually makes a lot, man. She makes the sauerkraut as well. She makes a meat and potato one. She makes the sweet cheese one. I'm not a big fan of that one. But not just that, she makes breakfast ones. Blueberry, apple cinnamon, uh, all kinds of fruit ones, man. Yeah, they're really good. I'll have to get some for the next one. Hey, good morning guys. The weather has definitely taken a little bit of a turn here. It's wet, it's cold, but you know what? It's not too windy. Paul's already out there fishing. Oh, I can actually see him through the trees over there. I'm gonna get set up and I'm gonna hit the water for a little bit before we eat breakfast here. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to make it happen this morning. I made an entire pass around the island we're camped on here, but nothing. Saw some really good looking marks on the fish finder too, so I don't know. It's tough, you know, it's a big lake. There's a lot of ground to cover, so it's going to be a little bit of a learning experience this week. I think right now the best lesson though would be to head in and make a little breakfast, maybe a little fire. Definitely got cold. I mean, we were dealing with several days of very warm, warm weather leading up to this and it definitely chilled down overnight. So, yeah, I'm gonna head in, get a little something to eat, get a little warmed up and if this wind holds off, probably get right back to it. Venison sausage, eggs, kinda campfire cooking. I mean, we're in the lean to. There's a campfire over there. Yeah. What's left of it? Yeah. yeah, it's about 3.30 now. The rain seems to have let up, so Paul and I are gonna get the water out of these boats, get out there and fish a little bit. Not really too windy, seems like it's perfect. I think this time we're going to try to paddle into one of these bays that has a stream feeding into it and see if we can find some brook trout that way or something. I don't know. We got to find some fish here somewhere.
All right, guys. I know that this is the craziest thing that's ever happened in one of my videos here, but uh, the plans have changed. Looking at the weather that's ahead of us, John and Logan have decided they don't want to come to Racket Lake. And I kind of don't blame them. So I floated the solution of Paul and I heading back to camp right now while we've still got lots of daylight left. Packing up camp and heading over to this secret trout spot that I've got not super far away. And it looks like that is the plan right now. Because as much as I wanted to try to figure out Racket Lake here, I just don't think we're going to be able to do it with the wind that we got coming. So this might have to be a trip that I save for another time. And we're just going to get back to my spot and catch a bunch of big brook trout. Does that sound okay with you guys? I hope it does because... Uh, that's probably how the video is about to go. <laughs> well, hey, good morning, guys. I know it's been a bit of a jump since you last saw me here. Paul and I are actually set up at my secret little trout lake here. We made the carry as best we could yesterday, but I don't know. I think the trail into this place just degrades worse and worse each year because... Coming in last night was a, the worst slog I've ever had in here. I mean, it was just super rocky and busted up, trees down on it. It it took a lot of work to get back here. I didn't even, I was so tuckered out, I couldn't even think to touch the camera. We didn't get our actual tents up till 11.30 at night. Ate dinner and just immediately fell asleep. But I'm up now. I'm getting the canoe rigged up to go fish. Paul's looking for a little firewood. I'm about to get out there and try to see if I could find some of these fish. All right, let's go see what we're dealing with out here. Look at that. First time seeing it this year. She's beautiful. Uh, let's see what condition the fish are in, huh? Yeah, we got John now from the ADK Addicts here with us. Snow's coming down a little bit, but figured we'd keep trying for a little while here. I didn't have any luck when I was initially trolling, but uh, maybe now that he's here, it'll change up a little bit. Oh man, this wind really picked up on me out here. I'm gonna have to head back in. I'm just getting blown around. My rod's just ending up in a big knotted mess. Whew, it is not my day. It is not my day. Well, I'm not completely skunked, but I also didn't manage to get it on camera. I just caught a very tiny little brookie. I got him up to the boat there, was about to just hoist him in, and he popped right off. Probably should have grabbed the net, but uh, that does mean they're still here. It's just they're being a little uncooperative at the moment. I've been trying up a few different things here, switching things up, trolling with a few different things, but I think that this weather is just kind of making it tough right now. 
I mean, since I've been out here trolling, I've had snow, wind, rain, the sun came out for a bit. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. Oh, I'm trolling way too fast right now. But, uh, well, it's getting to almost be 12 o'clock now. I've spent almost the whole morning on the water out here, so I guess I'm going to slowly make my way back to camp here, see what Paul's up to, maybe work on a little lunch, and we'll hang out and hope that we can get back out here soon. The wind's not so bad when you're real close to shore, but... When you get out there in the lake, I mean, it really throws you around. And it's some burgers, baby. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. Chibata rolls. <laughs> Monk rolls. <laughs> You ever had monk bread? No. Really? I've had monkey bread. Monk rolls. <laughs> like that I call them ciabatta rolls too. Um what's his name? Matt Posa calls them ciabatta. Oh yeah, ciabatta. Dude, remember chia pets? Yes. Oh my god, I don't think I ever would have thought of those again if you didn't say <laughs> that. How did they make money with that? That's crazy. Well, I guess that snow stopped joking around because it is actually sticking now. We're all kind of just hanging out here, got a fire going. What more can you do? Good dinner though, huh? That was really good. Yeah. Wow, look at it out here. Holy cripes, dude. This is not what anyone here signed up for. Well, at least we got fire. What I don't have is a spatula. I got one. You got one right there on the ground. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Can you watch this for a little pause? Yeah. So I can play this for a little bit. Oh, you're good. That's why I love going, one of my favorite movies. Yeah, time to go collect a little firewood here. Running a little low at camp and when you've got weather like this, the only thing that's gonna keep you warm is a fire out here, unless you plan on huddling in your tent all day. But uh, you can see it's kind of tough. There's plenty of down dead wood, but finding dry actual hardwood to burn is not as easy. We've been dredging some up though. We'll stay warm. Big piece of firewood here, huh? all right so update here we've got firewood we've got fire and gonna boil a little water right now to do up some of this chicken noodle soup be nice on a nice cold day like this it's crazy i guess we just can't get out on an april canoe trip without snow huh well lately i haven't I've been making sausages Venison jerky's good. I always yeah. loved that when I used to go hunting with my grandpa when I was younger, getting that bad. Mm -hmm. The guy who would make it googie, he would make it so spicy. My eyes would, mm -hmm. I, my face would yeah, be like I, melting I, off. I'd teriyaki. I make it right at my, see my, I have a dehydrator, but it's, it's nothing special. Well, it's still pretty cold out here, but the wind seems to have let up here right as we're getting towards dark. So, I figured we might as well give it a try, right? I mean, these brookies might not quite be cooperating yet, but 
I can't just sit around camp and wonder. I'll come out here, kill an hour or two, and before too long, it'll be time to get in there and make a little dinner. Yeah, the fish are certainly not jumping into the boat today. But you know what? I'm glad I got to get out on the water. I've been waiting all winter to be in this canoe. I know the fish in here will turn on eventually. I guess it might just be still a little too cold for it. And you know what? I really can't complain when I've got a beautiful view like this ahead of me here. Almost a sign of the great next two days that's supposed to come. And I'm thoroughly enjoying being out here, that's for sure. Even cold weather and snow, it's been good to hang out with the guys, have a good fire. We've had some really good food and still got two great days ahead of us here. As a matter of fact, Stephanie might even be coming out Friday night to join us. Hang out and camp and be heading home Saturday. back by the heat of the fire and we're gonna do korma curry with some white chicken naan bread and rice should be pretty good on a cold night like this Here, the most important part. That's a beautiful bread. Thank you. How was your uh, chicken sausage? They're pretty good. I've had them before. They're Sweet. Quick and easy. Yeah, now I'm just boiling a little water, get some dishes done, hang out, have some s'mores, and I'm sure before too long we'll all be calling it a night here. Hopefully, get into some action tomorrow. Those fish got to turn on at some point, right? I hope so. Come on, we know they're here. Yeah, we've had quite a day out here. Fishing might not have been on, but had a few great meals. Ton of fun hanging around the fire with these guys. Finished off with some good s'mores, a little hot cider with some whiskey in it. Can't really ask for a better night than that, so. Gonna turn in now and hope this weather breaks and gives us a chance to really get on that fishing tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, hey, good morning, guys. Told you this weather would clear up eventually. This is an absolutely beautiful day out here. I'm just getting all my stuff together really quick, and I'm going to get out in the water and try to see if those fish are maybe looking to bite yet. I don't know. Wow, though. Spring has sprung. Still can't believe the weather on this trip here. This beautiful sunny day after a absolutely freezing cold night last night. It got so cold there was a layer of ice around where we put our boats in that we had to break through. Oh man. <laughs> Paul's already out here. Looks like he's making a pass trolling with the wobblers over on the other side of the lake there. I'm going to get all rigged up, get these worms in the water and... See if maybe we can catch a rookie, yeah?
Wow, we got a fish here. It might be a bass, but it kind of feels like a trout. I gotta turn off my audio book. Wow, he slammed that. It's a nice brook trout. He almost startled me. I was I was so distracted. Not huge, but a very beautiful fish there. He's hooked kind of badly, so I think he might be coming back to camp with me. I'm gonna try my best to revive him though, so let me do that here. Unfortunately, that fish did not make it. So, I've got him bled out on a stringer right now, and I'm gonna be bringing him back to camp. You know, I mean, it happens sometimes. If it keeps, if it happens again with another one, I'll switch to something artificial, you know, just so, just so I'm not killing fish. Looks like these guys are gonna take off a little early and leave me out here all by myself. <laughs> no, no. I'll have a nice little night out here by myself. Stephanie will be in tomorrow and then we'll see. I don't know if her and I will head home Saturday or stay an extra night till Sunday, we'll see. Sad to see these guys go, but it's been a ton of fun hanging out with them. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little venison for dinner. That's gonna be good. And we'll all be getting out together, I'm sure very soon. So I just finished helping the guys carry a little bit of their stuff out there. I've got the foam blocks for putting my canoe on Stephanie's car and on the trail back to the lake here. Looks like I'm going to be back in time to do a little fishing too. So I'm just going to quickly get back, get things together and get on the water. Let's get working on a little dinner here. We got venison steak, we got brook trout. We got potatoes I'm about to fry up in some butter. Fire's starting to burn down to coals. Oh man, I am so ready for this.
I think I'm going to call this dinner the Nesmic Classic. Brook trout, venison, and potatoes. You can't really go wrong there. Oh man, it smells so good. Time to dig in, guys. Another beautiful day out there. I'm just getting up, getting moving now. I'm gonna get some clothes on and try to get out on that water. Right on camera. Oh, he stole it. Darn. Oh. Wow, right as I turned the camera on. Brook trout. Oh, darn. Quick release. Wow. Well, looks like it's time to go meet Stephanie. I'm going to walk out of here with a few little things so that. We don't have to carry them out when we leave in this pack here. Meet her at the parking area and we'll be camping. Yeah, we got camp all set up here. Figured we'd hop in the canoe. Get a few passes around the lake with the wobblers before, uh, well, Getting towards night here, hopefully the wind's over and we can just get a few nice, peaceful, peaceful trolls around the lake here. I mean, it's definitely, it's a beautiful day. A little hot for April. I was kind of logy today with that heat, but man, it's feeling good now, starting to cool down a little bit. And yeah, I'm, for the first time, tandem paddling here. Sort of re-remembering the J-stroke. A little rusty at first here, but getting to the groove of it. So yeah, we're going to get lined up and see, get these wobblers in the water. See if we can find some. by force of 1,500 workers. Now, the two vast pits, some 600 feet deep, full of emptiness. Though there are still abundant mineral reserves. <laughs> you look like a hunchback with your life jacket under the rain jacket. I've done this before. <laughs> I really can't believe the only fish that I've come up with today were those couple ones this morning. 
This is shocking. I really thought once Stephanie got out here with me that she'd get at least a couple with how I thought it was kind of turning on, but I don't know. We still got a little bit of sunlight left here that we'll try to go up and down this shore with before we go in, but I don't know. I've tried a few different things. Tried a few streamers, flies, head on a Phoebe. I don't know. Here you go, Stephanie. This is an absolutely top-notch dinner here. The steak's amazing. The burger's good. Thank you so much for the venison, Paul. You like it? Hey, good morning guys. Stephanie and I are up and moving around here a bit. It rained a little last night, but right now seems to be holding off. It's been kind of gusting wind out there, which has stopped me from immediately hopping in the canoe and getting out there and trying to troll just because I know how tough that can be. Stephanie's gearing up right now to take a little hike out to the falls and check those out that are nearby. I think I'll just start getting things packed together here. Maybe if the opportunity presents itself, hop in the boat, but I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, I'm going to get up and get moving here. Well, I know it's a little windy out here, but... I've got to get out and try it one last time before I go. I would just kick myself if I didn't. So, I've got it rigged up to head out there solo. Stephanie's doing a quick little hike around the lake. I'm going to give this a shot. I mean, I know I'm going to get blown around, but, you know, it'll still be nice to spend a little time in this canoe on the water.
As you might be able to hear, that wind is just ripping at this point. It looks like it's gonna rain tomorrow. I hate to say it, but it looks like the best thing to do here might just be what we're doing now, packing up and heading home here. I really expected to catch a lot more fish on this trip, but you know, that's really not up to me. That's up to the fish, so. There's always next time. I got a lot of year ahead of me, a lot of trips ahead of me. So there's many more fish to come. We're just gonna get finished packing up here and hit the trail back. Before we go though, I just wanna say thank you for watching this video here. I hope you enjoyed it, even though there wasn't a ton of fishing action, the camping, the friendship, the nights out here, all of that was amazing. I wouldn't change a thing. So, uh, yeah, if you could just like, comment, and subscribe on the video, you know, I would, uh, I would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one.